we all look horrible. Oh <laughs> Unacceptable. Hey, this is the Jonas Brothers. This is Would You Wear It Now? We got here. Ooh, we have the uh, American Music Awards 2007, sponsored by Kenneth Cole. And wow, it's, it's it's always like, you know, we looked at the mannequin and said, we'll take that, all of it. Yep. Uh, yeah. Good look, strong. You think you do love, it again. I love your hair in this. I think I still have these boots somewhere. Um, your shoelace is untied in this photo too. And I'm I'm sure I have the scarf. I I'm gonna throw away a good scarf. Good point. I'd wear this again. Maybe not the purity ring. Ooh. This is a... Uh, uh, Camp Rock promotional pick. Camp Rock promotional pick. This is actually what we wore in the movie, though. Yes. Yes. It was a big fight. A big fight for me in this one, for them to, uh, them being Disney, to allow me to wear my, my personal checkered uh, vans. Oh, I didn't believe you. They're, they are checkered. Yet again, another scarf and vest. I have a theme going on. I like it. And, uh, and a coif. Mm -hmm. Very straight hair. Though. A deep v-neck. Also, you've got riding boots on, which was another phase of yours. Yeah. Kevin was uh, uh, an equestrian guitar playing extraordinaire at this moment. <laughs> yeah, his, I his, am. His life. It was one of my first big splurges. Uh, horses? Uh, no, <laughs> the Gucci uh, equestrian boots. And I didn't want to take them off. So these are Gucci, Gucci boots. Yes. Gucci, then the, the jeans are tucked in. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it's a choice. But it's a, that, because when you think camp, you think Gucci boots. <laughs> One of my favorite memories, oh man. We were out in the middle of really nowhere up in Canada and it was quite beautiful. So we had a lot of uh, good times, good memories. Can't remember a ton, but. <laughs> Me and Nick played a lot of tennis, I do remember. We weren't on a lot of scenes in the first Camp Rock, so yeah. we had a lot of, yeah, Joe was the star. I was the star. What? Well, I was the star, I was number, number two in the call sheet. Kevin. Oh, I right. changed that to the first movie. They obviously needed some more star power, so they brought me and Kevin in a more significant way. Yeah. Flushed out our, our uh, storylines. Kevin was building birdhouses, and I was um, doing whatever I was doing. Yes. You guys were nominated that year. Nominated for um, all the- Kids' Choice Awards. Kids' Choice Awards. All. Oh, next up we have um, we have this. This is a photo with uh, fellow sibling act, Ali and AJ. Um, and this ensemble that I'm wearing here was a go-to. Solid. Me. It was. It's a very sort of like this. There's a lot of like early jailhouse rock meets Easter. A lot of these items you can find at Hot Topic, except Kevin's shirt, which is a freebie from. Ed Hardy, Ed Hardy the and Smet their Smet Collection, whatever that is, Smet Collection, which I look, which kind of looks like um, iron dumbbell, dumbbells or pistons. Those are pistons. Oh, they are. I'm not a mechanic. Drive. Then you don't ride horses. Mm -hmm. Camouflage. I can't see you, Joe. Yeah, I'm a floating head. <laughs> would we wear this? The answer is. Um, yeah. I'd wear I this. I would wear that. Yeah. yeah I'd, I'd wear, wear this. This I'd wear. I'd rock what Nick's video. wearing. And then this one, I'd, I'd, I'd wear in the Broadway show retelling of our lives. And I like um, Ali's, uh, what would you call that? Armband. Armband, boho chic armband. Yeah. yeah. So fun fact, we did this exact video with Ali and AJ and this look, this, this photo. And they said they'd wear all everything Do they Do you want to see their response? Yes. Just press play. <clears throat> we all look horrible. Oh my lord. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I actually think the boys look worse. <laughs> yeah, they might actually. Than us. No offense, God guys. bless. Unacceptable. Look horrible. Uh, we look horrible. Whoa. We just gave them lots of compliments. Well, yeah. we, they do look great. I don't think it looks horrible. Everybody looks great. Everybody looks great, okay? Alright. Next. Okay. This is a classic. This is the 2007 or 8 Kids' Choice Awards. Wow. Um, and and we <laughs> we're going for. Uh, we also just got back from it. What looks like the uh, Easter egg roll at the White House. Yeah, we're really we, going we, for we, our outfits got switched with our outfits for generational, that. Generational, generational wealth is what we're, <laughs> what we're aiming for. <laughs> but, but this is also like off the mannequin vibes. <laughs> but great story about these shoes. You should tell. I don't know. Heidi Klum, what did she say to you? I don't remember. 
Are you kidding me? I'll tell the story. I don't remember. She walked up to you, tapped you on the shoulder, and she said, I like your shoes. Are those Gucci's? And you said, no, they're Ralph Lauren. And she said, somebody's gonna be pissed. I mean, the truth be told, she was right. That's true. Those look like Gucci's. Gosh, that. What is man. happening? <laughs> this is the children's mu video of music, like, or children's awards. The children's awards. <laughs> Just awards for children. Uh, but I was wearing a green tie in honor of, obviously, slime. So I was yeah, on you were on theme a little bit. More than us. Your ascot was maybe a touch too far. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing putting it over the edge. Okay, this is the Met Gala, our first one. Um, and, you know. Sorry about a friend of ours, Richard Chai. Richard Chai. I think this is definitely an outfit that I'd wear again. It's a classic tuxedo. I think I, I, think I still have this clothes. outfit. Solid look. This Met was interesting because it was our first time, and I think. It's a very overwhelming experience, you know? It's a lot of hurry up and wait, and then you get in that crazy carpet, and then you're like, well, I can't see anything, and you go in this dark room, and all of a sudden you're meeting all these important people, and you're like, holy shit, what, what? Who invited me here? Yeah. Um, so, a little out of our league. Wow. No, this is not, but. It should have been. But still a good one. Let's save that one, I've got some thoughts. I'm gonna workshop some chair, or are we going to the Met? This is what we're going with. Is that Tom Selleck or is that Joe Jonas? Thanks, Kev. That's a compliment. Uh, I don't remember what award show this might be. I've never seen this photo. <laughs> this looks like a European video music award. It is. To me. is I it? think it's European music award. Do you know what this is from? MTV. Uh, EMAs. There's, EMAs. There's Jack Lawless, yeah. drummer in DNC, and the Jones Brothers. And I will happily wear this outfit. again. It's a great outfit. You look I love it. Yeah. I think it's sick. Would you bring back? Uh, yeah, why not? I love it. Fantastic outfit, Joe. Okay, here we go. This is a good one. Yeah. This is Kevin on the first season of? First season of Claim to Fame. Claim to Fame. This is Franco Jones. Yes. Our you guys are matching very kind well. Of, we, two different teams and we matched. It looked great. I'd wear that again. I did right, wear that again. Two different teams. You guys are a host. I mean like wardrobe teams. Oh, got it. Okay. It also looks it like It was a little 80s. Not uh, much, but it was, it was good. Yes, it, it does. We were supposed to be outside for a pool party thing, so I felt like it was bringing those vibes. Franklin's giving me Pete Davidson. <laughs> yes. Mmm. Here we go. This is the Met Gala uh, 2019, I believe. My beautiful wife on theme with, what was the theme that year? Camp. Camp. Should have worn the Camp Rock outfit. <laughs> that would have been. Missed opportunity. Oh, so great. Um, hey, talk about break the internet. <laughs> Um, this is, I basically was cosplaying as Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Um, oh, that's what cool. you're giving, you're giving Littlefinger. Giving Littlefinger. I've got, <laughs> I've got some, uh, some bling on the ear. Um, and, you know, these, these very sparkly shoes. Um, like, other than that, you know, I'm just, just happy to be there. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. The Berluti suits. We love these outfits, but by halfway through the tour, it was a long tour. I was sick of these outfits. They kept getting, the, the, the dry cleaner was shrinking my, my pants, and they were very tight. I ripped them up three times on that tour. This fashion era was, you know, in our minds, representing uh, the happiness that we felt. So the pastels, pops of color, uh, not taking itself too seriously. Yeah. And, you know, we always did suiting. Like, once we started to get into that trend, it was like our way of sort of, um, you know, flipping things on its head. Young guys, young uh, kids, basically, at a lot of these points. But um, doing our own take on, on uh, you know, suiting. So this was sort of tip to catch that. And then the second half of the show was all Baman, which was a really cool thing as well. So uh, I love this uh, whole look, and I would gladly wear this again. This is from the recent oh. Broadway performances, so I'd love to have you guys talk about that. There you go. Sort of this, this is very era. recent. They've been wearing some Bodhi. Bodhi. But we're also nodding, and this Nick's nodding to that outfit that you just saw. Correct. Uh, kind of like the monochromatic clothing that we are wearing. And I'm trying this to is, do the same with the colors in that polo. And this is, uh, this is me sort of nodding to uh, Lines, Vines, and Trying Times. I went album theme, outfit, colorway, the whole thing, and they sort of didn't, because they don't care. They have no interest in yeah. details. This is a great shot, Joe. Let's close, Joe. 
Thank you. You can, you can keep that. You're going to sign that right? Sign it. Thank you. I have a Sharpie somewhere. I think that for this current era we're in now, um, it's all about it feeling um, very much a part of our, our lives and the fabric of our lives. And, and, you know, the bigger sort of like poppy moments for stage and things like that, but the rest of the time kind of being true to the more organic elements of the music mm -hmm. and how that's reflected in our style. And I think that's the, the cool part about fashion as a whole. We've been talking a lot about, you know, looking back at the past and different chapters of our journey. And, um, you know, it's nostalgic, sure, but I think that really what it is is we were uh, quite fearless in a way that I think um, speaks to, you know, our love of, of just exploring and trying new things and expressing ourselves. We had no idea what we were doing as far as the fashion approach to it goes. But eventually we found our way and it led us to, to kind of feel more comfortable in our own skin and be who we are. Um, and it's a, a beautiful journey to have been on. Okay, so thinking back at all the images that we've gone through, what are your favorites? What's your favorite? I think the most... It's the kids' choice word. Kids' choice words is by far... Bar, it's, like, it's absurd. It brings me the most, the most joy, that's it's for sure. It's hilarious. I don't understand how we got there. <laughs> like, what decision was made that was just like, this is what we're gonna do? Well, I think it was supposed to be ironic, really is what it was. It's like, it's the kid's choice of words, which is, again, kind of Amazing. badass and hilarious. Yeah, like, which is like, we're, we're gonna, gonna be like, like the most... This like, you know, <laughs> I don't even know. So you know, Blink-182 outfit. But the problem is, it then wasn't ironic, because we were obviously we were taking, ourselves taking it too seriously. I think and at that when point we, we were... that award, we acted, it was like the Oscars. It was. Um, it's hilarious. That was a lot of fun, thank you for joining us. If you would like to comment anything below, feel free. If not, it's fine. Perfect, okay. <laughs> not, it's fine. <laughs>